So let me guess, you want some help with Elden Ring? You want some tips for Elden Ring? Well I've got a big tip right here, and it's going straight in your brain hole. You can either run about for a hundred hours, scraping together whatever runes you can find, whatever equipment you can find, or you can get this motherfucker dead in 40 minutes that anybody could do. This is so easy, even I can do it. So let's, let's just get straight to it. First things first, you want to go this guy. And you want to take the gold seed, because let's be fair, a little fucking baby like you is going to need a big fucking sippy cup. Now while you're here, you might as well take off all this garbage. Does it do bleed? No. Well I guess it doesn't do anything. So here we are in Limgrave, and we've got four vital items to get. Now if you need help getting to this point in the game, well I guess you also need help eating food or wiping your own arse. And if you can't do either of them, then this game ain't for you! First things first, before anything else, we get the horse. Now once this bitch is finished, Talking! Wait, 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 back up, back up. Did she say finger maidens? She may speak. You want to grab the map piece, and then you want to go to this hole in the ground and grab the whetstone dagger. Now this item is a vital key item in the game, which means it's also vital to stop you shitting your fucking pants! So I guess now we've got a little journey ahead of us. Hopefully you're allowed out the house without holding your mum's fucking hand, but you want to go to this part of the map, and now we're going to get the physic flask, which is just a free heal! Which again, you're gonna need! And right next to it is a sacred tier, remember to pick that up as well. So we ain't got any time to waste. So, you're gonna fast travel back to the church at Ella, you're gonna pick up that smith and stone, and then you're gonna speak to Rena. Now she gives you a bell that lets you summon help for bosses, and trust me, you're gonna need all the help you can get. But before we head there, we must pick up the magic duck foot. So from the church, run to the coast, just get down onto the beach, and at the end of the beach, there it is! Now this duck's foot is vital, because it increases the amount of souls we get. Which means we're literally cheesing the cheese! 100k souls, here we come! But now, one of the burnt dragon ruins. First things first while we're here, we grab the twin blade. Then, you want to come around the back here and grab this keystone. Fuck it, it's not vital for the build, but it's free, so keep the change I guess. So straight back into another hole in the ground, open the door, open the chest, and then that teleports you straight to a place called Celia. Now we're pretty far from home just now, but hopefully you can keep it together without shitting yourself to death. So once you leave the caves, you'll kind of vaguely see a tree in front of you, go towards it, and then when you get to it, take a left and you'll see a sign of grace. Now charge on up these stairs, and at the top of them is a golden seed. Now don't tell me I've not been good to you, so back to the tree, moving forward, if you see the spicy piss, you're going the right way. Moving past that, you'll see two items, you're going the right way. Moving past that, you'll see a hill, go up the hill, and then there's a sign of grace there as well. So you can take a little rest! So from here, you can grab the map that's just a little bit in front of you, and then from there, there's another golden seed! So you know what that means? That's another charge to your flask! And that means one less dick up your arse! So basically, we've got a long journey ahead of us now, but the gist of it is, just hug the right up this cliff until you get right to the end and you'll see a big fucking dragon. Stop at any grey sites you see, you can look at the map, just follow the road up. Like, this is simple shit! And if you get lost and you can't find your way, well, just consider that you might be dead weight to everybody that knows you. Now once you get to this vaguely dragony area, again, you want to hug the right, right up to the Fort Faroff. Now at this point, we've got a really important item to get. It's called the Lil Bitch Talisman. The I need 20 free levels to play the game talisman. And luckily for you, it's incredibly easy to get. Now while you're here, you might as well grab this incredibly important quest item, but also, you want to go down this hole, jump across this little gap, fall down there, don't get killed by the rats, and there you go, Lil Bitch Talisman is yours. Hope you're proud. And would you look at that, 20 free levels for the low, low cost, of just a little bit of your damage reduction. And don't worry, we're gonna make up for that later as well. Because you went this yee ass fucking guy, you have the Jigatana, which just so happens to have bleed. Which just so happens to be able to kill this fucking dragon. So I guess just go to town on the dragon for a while. Now once it's on the last bit before Odaya bleed, just use the duck foot, and then once you kill it, 100,000 souls is yours. Isn't that incredible? Easiest 100,000 souls of your life. Go on, tell me, tell me. Where else are you getting 100,000 souls in 20 minutes? Nowhere! Now you can spend your souls on whatever you want, but I'm putting 23 in endurance, because you'll see why. Now I guess we do need to put the rest of our stats into health and dex, admittedly, but if you like to live dangerously, then I guess you can dump it all on arcane, can't you? Now you might think we're finished here, but wait! There's more! 
Now we've got a fast travel back to the forest. Now just to make it easy on you, we're going to put a little map marker here. And this allows you to get the map fragment so you can see what you're doing. Yet again, proof that eyesight is just a crutch. Now you've got this part of the map, you're right next to this air tree. So again, you might as well just pick up the crystal tears. This allows you to upgrade your physics flask a little bit better. So next, we're heading to the Mistwood Fort. Now, you can see the big bear. No, we're not going to fight that because you, you could never fight that. But what you can do is steal the Smith and Stone 2 out this chest. You can do that. I'm sure you can do that. And now, again, another map marker at Fort Height. Now, whilst we're here, again, just grab this golden seed. So now, it's just a simple case of up the stairs, into the fort, and now fight this guy. Except, you don't even need to fight this guy. You can just cheese him on the stairs like this. Fuck him! If you have an incredibly small dick like me, then this is what you want to be doing. Also, whilst you're here, you might as well just get the other half of this incredibly important quest item. But anyway, now you've killed that guy, you've got Bloody Slash, which is just beyond bonkers busted. And now you can put it on the Twin Blade, so your Twin Blade does bleed damage! Did they even think this game through, actually, just while we're here? So next thing on the list is to get that fucking twin blade upgraded, but on the way, we're gonna do something else that you're gonna be capable of doing, and that's some grave robbing. So pick up these souls while you're here, and now it's off to the southern bridge. Now as you can see, there's just three smithing stones just lying here to take, so go ahead and do that. So we've got no time to waste. So you're gonna warp back to Stormgate and go up the hill, and at the top of the hill, lo and behold, is another golden seed which gives you another flask use and from here there's just another three smithing stones just lying about for you to take so further up the hills past the wolves is this shack here now rest at the grey site pick up the stone key and now you want to talk to this bitch right here now exhaust the dialogue and she'll give you the summonable jellyfish now this jellyfish is exactly how i like my woman filled with poison and can take a punch. Now head up the hill a little bit and take a right. Now the end of this cliff is another crystal tier that you can use for your physic flask and this one increases your strength and god knows if you need a little bit more strength. Now jump off the hill and don't die. Now I didn't die, I just jumped off the hill and died to show you what would happen because you would jump off and die. I didn't die. Was, I'm just showing you that you would have died had you jumped off at that point. But anyway, once you're off the cliff you'll see the shack. Now run to the war master's shack rest at the grace site and then this guy sells some weapon arts now we don't need any weapon arts because we've got the best weapon art but you want to buy this weapon art because this weapon art turns your shields weapon art into your twin blades weapon art which is obviously better now at this point in the video you must be thinking to yourself but my, my armor set i'm still wearing this shitty samurai armor that that doesn't have any defense at all and yeah you would think that wouldn't you but luckily for you i found a solution the only armor set that you can pick up is loot in Limgrave. And it just so happens, you're right next to it. All you gotta do is kill the Warmaster guy and he'll drop his entire set. And lo and behold, it's actually fucking good. And can you believe there's no drawbacks to doing this? I mean, you know, it, except from fucking up a whole bunch of quests because you killed this guy. And the fact that now you have uh, some nightmare monstrosity demon chasing after you. But fuck it! Quests? What quests? You're not here to do labour for some fucking wizard. You're here to kill. I mean, I guess this shack is yours as well now. Like, it's not like he's using it anymore. But yeah, run out the back door of your new shack and go down the hill and you'll see this little glowing stone type deal. Now, what you want to do is get one of these giant things to run into it. It'll smash it open and inside it there's five smith and stone ones and a smith and stone two, which is... Now you, now you can upgrade your weapon to plus four. So the final step in all this is your shield. Now again, there's only one shield that you can find in Limgrave, but it just so happened to be 100% lock, which is good enough. So take a right from the shack, go down the road till you see this little encampment, and in this chest right here is the final piece of the build. Now don't forget to go and upgrade your weapon. I can't believe you even needed me to remind you of that. How stupid can you be? Go and upgrade your weapon. And there you go, that's it. The build is done. What more could you possibly want? What more could you possibly need? You've got a twin blade that has bleed on it, a full set of armor, a medium roll, and a shield with like 23 levels. So I challenge anybody to make a better build than this under the criteria of you've got about 40 minutes and you don't go past Limgrave. So as you can see here, your amazing jellyfish friend just carries you the whole fucking fight while you just bleed the shit out of Margit. Can you see what I'm doing to him? It's, it's incredible. J just 
look at that raw Damahe. Is it this impossible? You can't lose. You can't lose this fight. Now, once you've beat Margaret, I guess we can be pretty sure you don't have brain cancer. And there you go. You're extremely overpowered for this point in the game. Congratulations. If you can't beat Margaret, just kill yourself. Fuck it. I know I would. And with that, like, comment, subscribe, and fuck off. <laughs>